We know that the rollout for young people is well underway in the Northwest Territories. Scenes of the clinic as the territories began to administer doses of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine at clinics in Yellowknife yesterday. These are pictures of a little bit of history, too. The very first teenager getting the shot, 16 year old Riley Oldford. Riley lives with cerebral palsy and a chronic lung disease, and he's had to take extra precautions. That's not Riley. Let me just finish Riley's story for just one moment. You'll get to meet Juniper in a second. But we were looking at Riley there, who's been taking some extra precautions and isolating at home. And he was the very first. Juniper is with me. Sorry about that. We had a little technical glitch, didn't we there, Juniper? But I'm going to introduce you now. I didn't get to do a good preamble. Juniper Falvo was very close behind Riley and one of the first teens in uh, Yellowknife to get her shot as well. Hello, welcome to our program. Nice to meet Hi. you. Hi, sorry about that. Nice a rocky you. start. Anyway, well, I get the pleasure of talking to one of the very first, well, one of the youngest people in Canada to have the vaccine in the whole country. That's pretty cool. Congratulations. Thank you. It's really exciting. How are you feeling this morning? Um, well, physically, my arm is a bit sore. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't hurt at first, but when I woke up this morning, there is a an ache on it. Okay. Um, but I am feeling really, I'm feeling really good because I'm feeling more safer and I'm feeling a lot more um, better about where this pandemic is, is going and when it's going to end. Isn't that great? Just as a result of that little bit of, of protection. I, I'm interested because there was the announcement from Health Canada this week that people your age in the country would be able to get a shot. And when you heard that news, what did you think? I mean, had you been hoping for a vaccine before and excited to get the news? Or what did you think when Health Canada said that? Well, yeah, I had been I've been I had been hearing about all the adults and everybody else who had been getting the vaccine. And so when I found out that I'd probably be able to get it in the in the next weeks, I was uh, I was really excited and I was really looking forward to it. Um, I got to admit, I was a bit nervous because I don't really like needles. <laughs> so I was like, oh, it's happening this fast. And so it was a bit of nerve wracking, but I was really excited. <laughs> well, you toughed it out. There we are, some pictures of you afterward and then actually getting the shot. Um, tell me a little bit how it was handled there in the clinic in, in Yellowknife and how it all went, what you did. Well, uh, to book the appointment, I actually heard about it um, online from a friend. And so mm -hmm. I, I rushed into my dad's room and I said, they're booking appointments for vaccines. And uh, he booked it right away. Um, and actually, when he refreshed the page, uh, all the spots for the first day were gone in seconds. So I think a lot of other people were doing it as well. Um, but when I arrived at the vaccine clinic, I, uh, they, I got registered. It actually it took about five minutes in total because they registered me. They brought me to a chair. They gave me basic information. And then I was they gave me the shot and I was done and done. And then standing there, thumbs up in front of that uh, that poster. And, and again, you said you, <laughs> yeah. said you said it feels kind of good this morning. You feel a little bit different. Can you tell me a little bit more about knowing you've had a first shot, what it does feel like? It mostly it, it's it's kind of there's a lot of hope. Like I feel I feel very um, happy about it, and I feel like there's a lot more hope now for. Um, um, ending the pandemic and just moving on and getting back to normal, getting back to our sports and our hobbies, um, clubs or whatever else people do. Yeah, what is it that you are most looking forward to being able to do? Um, I think that I'm, I'm really looking forward to hugging my friends. Um, besides the people that are in my really uh, close bubble, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to hugging the friends I haven't hugged in about a year now. And I'm also, I really love traveling. And so I'm really looking forward to getting out and not having to isolate and being able to travel safely. I share both of those things. You're absolutely right. It'll be so nice when we can do those. You mentioned your friends. Um, what's your read on your friend's attitude? Are they planning to get vaccinated as, as you did? Um, I know that some of my friends are very nervous about it um, for two reasons. Um, one of them, there is a lot of controversy about the, the Pfizer vaccine or any other COVID vaccine on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people are saying that there's severe side effects and there can be a lot of really bad things that happen. But um, what I can say is that I know that a lot of those side effects are very rare. And so they only happen to one in a million or who knows how many people. And so I think that it's not a reason to be scared. 
um, because I think that there's hope um, for that not happening. Um, and I know a lot of my friends are also really scared of needles. And I can say that I am also scared of needles <laughs> and that it's okay because it didn't hurt at all. <laughs> that is really fantastic. So if, if you have a discussion with them, uh, maybe those are the kinds of things that you will, you will tell them in terms of convincing them otherwise. But, you know, people watching our conversation from across the country, they're also seeing you talk about it as one of the youngest Canadians to get the shot. So maybe speak more broadly, you know, maybe give another, a message to other young Canadians about maybe why they should do what you did. Well, I think that I think that anybody who has the opportunity or the chance to get the vaccine should as soon as they can, because it really is um, the, a really, really, really big step in getting us back to um, our normal lives. And for young kids and even for adults for, of any age, I know that sports and hobbies and clubs and just gathering together in big groups of people is really important to us just as humans. And I know that I know that everybody must be looking forward to getting back to a normal lifestyle. Here, here, Juniper. Absolutely right. Okay, listen, tough it out for one more needle, even if you don't like it, for your second shot. So nice to meet you, and thanks to your parents for letting yeah, us too. talk to you today. Just a pleasure. Hope to see you again. Thanks, Juniper Falvo. Bye. Thumbs up. One of the youngest to get her vaccine, 15 years old, in Yellowknife this morning.